Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LPL matchup. First, so that he get path away from the strength that Ultra Primer representing the bot side. Ends up going to the enemy jungle over here, but Hacker looking for a play on the other side again. Leave the target, flashed on, rooted, will be taken down. That's a cash in for Doggo as well. A kill for Wink, but it does not matter. Smolder is denied his way. He does have TP. But still, he's in the cat on the other side world as well. But we're looking all bodies down bot side here. A hacker has returned to the well. We're going again. Leaf doesn't have his flash. He's going to be rooted. He's going to be finished off. It's a kill for hacker this time around. Who's trying to flash away to safety, but he goes down himself. Here comes you, Akai. Redive would be difficult though. This dog goes cutting off the wave. Another set of minions on their way. JJ just desperately trying to clear as fast as he can. I think EDG will survive. Uh, it, it does come with a little bit of payback there, but uh, they are able to get yeah. the opposite side play now as we go back to life. I think the nice thing for EDG there is, A, JJ gets himself a kill. It's always good to be ahead early on the nidly and just kind of evening up for the fact that Hacker got the kill on to leave. But also the fact that, wait, Solar Kill is just going to pull the wave so that the next minion wave arrives. You okay? Oh, he's going to try to Realizes he's got to get out and Dodge oh! tries to TP. CC thrown and none of it lands and it means Ultra Prime get the top tower and they pressure mid. Oh my god, a thousand possibilities and only one that mattered, Yuikai. He gets a massive play here, gets the first turn on the top side, stops any more gold from going on the bottom side. They will lose some more plates here, but Ultra Prime with some map moves and now on mid lane. Wing forced to flash away by the Stranglethorns. They got the top tower. And they're actually pressuring the top tier too. Ultra Prime are just buying time in the mid lane here. This is not real pressure. Solar Kill TP's up, but it's too late. Yuakai no, Chingtian. One and a half thousand gold up. It's a one and a half thousand gold lead for Chingtian as well. As a minor lead for Yuakai in the mid lane. That'll be a second Drake for EG. Last auto, the hacker can't steal the blue buff. That was a control ward committed by Nikit as well to try and make that happen. Doggo's desperate to finish this tower. It's low. And with Chingtian here too, that'll be. All three oh, no. tier ones taken as Yuakai finishes the bot lane. Existence. Uh, good denial from the uh, side of Ultra Prime to kind of get them away from that one. But still, really big pickups from EDG. Whenever there's a smolder on the screen, if you can get yourself a cheeky engage, soften oh, the play. Doggo. Doggo, he cleansed the second too early. He got stunned anyway. And in goes Wink to try and start the fight. And uh, down goes Wink after the fight start. Chick Tien misses the ultimate, but still gets the kill. Solo kill by Space in the backside of the play. This is an absolute mess of a fight. And it ends two for two. Well, and truly in control of the area. And you love to see that. We have to keep reminding people how much is on the line for Ultra Prime. They need a win in this series no matter what. It sucks that they lost that first game of the series, but they still control their fates here, at least tonight, and they need to pull it back against EDG, who have nothing left to play for, who have at times in this split been a catastrophe uh, on the rift and off the rift, and, and now the fact that EDG have got uh, a, a single game win over them and being able to kind of push them to the edge, that's it's turning a little bit more chaotic than we expected. Togo's just going to solo the Drake. Bloodthirster, I mean, baby. Yeah, he's got Bloodthirster, let's just say. Too easy. And his Infinity Edge, not far away either. Second game, like... they're going to use those resources right now. There's Force of Baron, though. Baron started. Mom called, but it does pretty much nothing. And Niket looks for an engage instead, but Niket oh. has got EDG. Find the first kill of the fight. Jinxian, close to Megan Arp. Close oh. isn't good enough. Stranglethorns to try and disengage the fight. Solo kill realizes he's gone too deep for this one, but the all-out Jinxian flips it. And Ultra Prime are getting taken apart. EDG with a two for nothing, punishing the Baron attempt. The all out in the middle of the Mega Nar. That's huge. I mean, I don't think. Slowing things down as much as they possibly can. They got the first two Drakes, so there's no Drake win condition anytime soon. And now trying to TP onto Ching Tien. A flash to get the slow from Solo Kill. Crying, moving over as well. Ching Tien forced to flash. In the meantime, Doggo is caught no on the top way. side. Leave gets some damage down. The 225. Do find one. Doggo low, but not going down. It's a pick on the top side for Ultra Prime. Commitment from Wink and Leave there, thinking that they could just one shot Doggo. But unfortunately, four players were there for Ultra Prime. So it just ends up being <laughs> Wink going down. It's just numbers. Look at Winks as a pick. It's 
Attacker finds a route in the jungle. I don't think it'll lead to anything. Is another attempt. Not again. On Ching Tien in the bottom side. This time around, though, no flash for Ching Tien. He tries to turn it around onto Leave. Leave should be able to out damage it, but Ching Tien. And she just walks away again. He somehow keeps surviving these side lane plays and now Ultra Prime use that pressure. Let's try and take over the top side. Leave has TP as well as in goes Solo oh. Kill and out goes Solo Kill. Barely surviving. He's dead. And the laser will finish the job. Ultra Prime, they find themselves a pick, but with Leave here, I don't think they can commit to a Baron Solar Flare. Onto you, okay. EDG have done enough to dissuade the play. They have. They are losing side lane now, trying to find an answer into that one will be important. But honestly, Ultra Prime, the split second turns onto the Baron as soon as they see any side lane play coming down onto Ching Tien. I think it's been a really good series of events for Ultra Prime, even if yep. Doggo's been getting caught. Their decision making is starting to shine through a little hey, bit. They could have another chance here with Ching Tien having TP, but Kryon moves down to match. That oh, yeah, they so are just going to start this one off again because. There's no vision in here. Okay, blue trinket comes in. JJ over the wall. Hacker's this is a so little, low here. It's a little dicey for Ultra Prime, honestly. Health bars are low. JJ is in the area, so it could end up being a 50 50. They're being poked away, and Leave is here on the smolder. Big damage on Diket. He has to flash to safety. We're going to have a 50 50 in the pit. Oh, Hacker JJ. is at the back of the pit, but JJ is the one to get the Baron. Crying goes down to Doggo, but Leave has the damage to find the execute. One more axe would do the job. They're doing the laser. It. Solo kill finds another one. Yurkai stepping up as Solo Kill tanking finds the Q3, trying to survive in the spear. This it's way. a kill for Leave as well, importantly. On to yeah. Hacker. Like, Leave getting any kind of gold at this point in the game is dangerous for Ultra Prime. Remember, if Ultra Prime lose this series, they are out of playoffs contention. This series means nothing but pride to EDG. Oh my god! Oh my lord, that damage! Mom flies in dragon. and sets up for leave. Cryon arrives at EDG, their last series of the split. They want to go out in style. And they're doing it. They have carved this lead back from Ultra Prime. They're only down a couple thousand now. They have taken advantage of every misstep that Doggo has had. And now they find themselves a soul, a Hextech soul on top of that. I think I feel the tides have shifted. And I think I start hearing the tears weeping for Ultra Prime. Ultra Prime have been ahead almost this entire game. And in fact, in terms of gold, they are still actually ahead by a thousand. And yet, EDG have held on long enough. They've called the bluff of Ultra Prime. They've answered every single play Ultra Prime have tried to make. And now with Baron, with Soul as well, and with a stacked up smolder, they look to try and break it the base of Ultra be. Prime. It can't end like this for Ultra Prime. They were so close to holding their own fate in their hand. They were so close to not being drugged down to the dirt like EDG. And we'll see if they can get themselves out of this one. The Baron is still up for 20. They are sieging down so heavily. And this is going to be lasting damage to Ultra Prime's base. Hacker caught by the solar flare. Oh! <laughs> Just bent to a cinder. That's what happens when a dragon meets a plant right there. Crying the one to finish the kill at the end as EDG moved to the mid lane. I think that might be all she wrote. EDG managed to find a little bit of redemption. It's too it's late. In these fights, that's not been quite as visible as, mm. you know, it, when Smolder gets the executed, it's, it's pretty clear to see. A hacker forced to flash away. Some big damage oh, onto him. Goodness. I don't know if there's any more follow up available, really. As the spear goes wide for JJ. And man, it's just so sad for Ultra Prime that it might end like this after things started so well for them. Feels like it's slowly but surely falling apart. In the placements in Group D, it looked like they were going to be one of the teams to make it into Group Ascend. But NIP, Weibo managed to redeem themselves in that group and find their way into the upper group and ultra prime unfortunately struggling now in group nirvana against the ropes at least the positive side is they won't have a really stressful ig versus we tomorrow because it won't matter at all to them crying just trades oh, his life man. as ultra prime desperately trying to hold on to their third inhibitor one for one there the inhib will fall though and i think the next yeah. might be next
It's looking like the doom spiral for Ultra Prime. They got so close to the sun, but ended up being burnt. She did can't find another one. What can you do? They're just clearing waves. And to be fair, they're pretty good at clearing waves <laughs> at this point. It does feel like EDG sort of strong. <laughs> oh, yeah, has that ever been the hard. case? Yeah, he's not, had a, he's not had a fun time, has he? That's Baron, though, for EDG. Clear all these minions, but we got the TP in bot side from Solo Kill. And it's the singing of the NEDG. They are sitting in the mud and they are grabbing the ankles of Ultra Prime and pulling them right down into it. That crab mentality and the cat feeling the claws. EDG charge on forwards. The peak of evolution is the crustacean and EDG going full crab mode today as they pull Ultra Prime back into the bucket. Neither team will make playoffs. EDG have decreed as the Nexus will fall a small. These were the best highlights from today's LPL matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say. Okay. See you on the next one.